Well, welcome to episode number two from chapter 11. And in this episode, we're going to cover two very important concepts. The difference between diploid and haploid. And these are two genetics terms that we're going to be using a lot over the next two chapters. So you want to make sure that you get these two things down. But luckily for you, these aren't very hard. All right, well, let's start off with diploid. Okay, the word ploid, think of that as referring to chromosomes. And then you see this prefix di right here? Well, that obviously means two. So when we are diploid, this means that chromosomes, oops, chromosomes are going to come in pairs. So you're going to have two of every chromosome. Now these chromosomes are called homologous. And the prefix homo means the same. So these are the same chromosomes. So even though you have two of them, this chromosome and that chromosome, they're the same. And basically what happens is, is you get one from your mommy, so maternal means mom, and then you get one from your dad, and paternal means dad, this is where you get them, all right? So your mom and your dad give you homologous chromosomes. This one came from mommy, and this one came from daddy. So that's a pair. This is one pair of homologous chromosomes. So how do you get homologous chromosomes? Well, it's going to come from what's called sexual reproduction. Uh, there's a male gamete that joins with a female gamete, and that's how it gets your two. Now, the symbol for diploid is 2N. Now, our textbook uses the capital letter, but I'm used to using a small or a lowercase letter. doesn't matter which ones you use. You want to use a capital letter, that's fine. You want to use a small letter, that's fine. I personally use the small letter, letter but it doesn't matter. Right? So for me, you're going to see this 2N. So let's go over here to this picture. We have one, two, three, four, five, six chromosomes. So for this organism, 2n equals 6. Okay? Uh, that means the diploid number is going to be 6. In other words, you got three chromosomes from mom, and I'm going to use the universal signal or symbol for female, and then you're also going to get three chromosomes from dad. And there's a symbol for males, all right? So let's just say that this one here is maternal, and then this green one here would be paternal. And maybe this one here is from the dad, so that would be paternal, and this one would be maternal, and we'll just go maternal and paternal, all right? So you can see here, these two right here, that's a homologous chromosome, one for mommy, one from daddy. Okay, a lot of stuff in color on this uh, screen, so we want to make sure that you know all this stuff because it's all important. You have to know the difference between diploid, and when we talk about diploid, you got to know what homo homologous means. You have to remember this symbol, and you must remember that when eggs and sperm cells come together, they produce a diploid organism. All right, let's move on to haploid. Let's try this. Get rid of There we go. All right, haploid basically means half. So if you think of uh, the word, the H-A in haploid, think of it as meaning one half. So you have half the number of chromosomes. So think of that ploid as referring to chromosomes. So basically, chromosomes do not, I'm going to circle the do not, come in pairs. In other words, you only have one of each kind. Now in humans, the only kind of cells that are haploid are the reproductive cells. And reproductive cells are called gametes. You can refer to them as a sex cell or reproductive cell or a gamete. The fancy scientific word is gamete. Now, you see this word here, ovum? Ovum is a fancy word that means egg cell. And the word ova is plural. So ovum is singular, ova is plural. And these are the only ones that are haploid. Now, the symbol for haploid is just an N. Now remember, I'm a lowercase n kind of person. Your textbook likes a big letter, the uppercase. Doesn't make any difference, okay? So let's go back one slide where we had 2N equals 6. So that was the diploid number. There were six total chromosomes. Now if you just do algebra, N is going to equal 3. So the haploid number would have been three. So let's look over here at this picture. Let's say this is the same creature that came from the previous slide where the haploid number was would be three and the diploid would be six. So in this sperm cell, N equals 
three. So this sperm cell is only carrying three cells. Now in this egg cell right down here, it is also haploid, so it's N equals three. So when these two come together, there's going to be six chromosomes. In other words, we're going to be right down here with 2n equals 6, where we have three types of chromosomes, two of each kind, and we had two of each kind because three came from daddy, three came from mom, put them together, you got six. It's very, very simple algebra. So think of diploid, they come in pairs. Haploid is half of the diploid number. They're not in pairs, and it's going to be 2n divided by 2 equals n. Basic basic algebra. Okay, now, before we end this one, I want to re remind you about this. Meiosis is a type of cell division. It's very similar to mitosis. You have one cell and you're going to divide into four this time instead of two. But this is a type of cell division that's going to create these gametes that you see on here. And that is what the next episode is all about. So, until the next time, when we learn about mitosis, we're going to see you on the flip side.